Hello everybody. This lecture is about homeopathic software. The road we have traveled from the very beginning of offering this tool to the homeopathic community and where we are going to and exactly telling you where we are at spring 2017. You know that homeopathic software has changed, has been a game changer in our profession where it was first not desired at all and then became a must-have. We are now at the third time that with our team that we start from scratch. We had the first MS-DOS versions in the mid in the early 80s. Then we had the Windows version reprogrammed from scratch in the mid 90s and now <clears throat> since 2010, 15 etc we are now working on Radar Opus, where again we have been rethinking our needs and possibilities for Radar Opus. And while we are doing so and explaining you the dreams that we had in these last five, six years, let's start with a little review, very quick and short, what homeopathic software so far has been bringing to you as a benefit and a feature. Homeopathic software gives you the possibility to access information in a very fast and unprecedented way. Like one word will show you all the symptoms in the repertory containing that work. Or you can do searches in hundreds of books on remedies, Materia Medica books, or in your patient file use a number of queries to find patients responding to certain criteria you desire. The very much appreciated feature, the speed of repertorization has gone down from manual repertorization, taking minutes, half an hour and more, to less than a second even for dozens or hundreds of symptoms. It has been possible to research information in a way that was never possible before so easily, like if you want to retrieve all the symptoms of one prover of a remedy in alum, you can. Or if you want to find out the characteristics of a small remedy, you can repertorize the 300, 500, 700 symptoms of that remedy, repertorize it and understand which is the bigger remedy similar to the one you have not been prescribing so far, just to mention a few examples. Information has been linked, like the remedy is not just an abbreviation in the book, but it has been linked to a picture, to the taxonomy of the remedy. The rubric is not just text, it has been linked to a dictionary explanation or even to a sound or a video clip explaining that rubric. And most of all, the repertory symptom has been linked to the source text in the Materia Medica so that the remedy in a certain rubric clearly shows the context and the precise meaning of that remedy in that rubric. It has become very easy to correct and add information to synthesis, expanding the repertory with information that was lacking so far. And these additions, these corrections, these cases were communicated to your friends, to your colleagues using homeopathic software worldwide. So this is a, just a very brief review of what homeopathic software has been bringing us. And so, when in 2006 we started dreaming of our third generation of homeopathic software, these are the ideas, the main ideas that we came up with. The first one is that we imagine a program that manages all information a homeopath uses, meaning repertory information, material medica information, and patient information. In addition to that, also, unpublished provings need to be accessed, dictionaries need to be used, medical, pharmaceutical information, patient file collections, personal notes, text, databases, spreadsheets, PowerPoints, PDFs, websites with homeopathic information. All these types of information will be handled by one and the same program. This was the dream, to make it very easy, one-stop place for whatever a homeopath needs in practice. Then labeling is a very important feature and means that in fact the label is put 
to define and thereby find back or organize information. We give a few examples, like when there is an article or even a book, we can label certain pieces of text as belonging to a remedy or belonging to the cure of a certain pathology, whereby you will be able to find back the cases, the successful cases of a certain pathology cured with a certain remedy. So these labels help you to find back information in a very quick and precise way. Another example is the labeling of the vet information, which allows veterinaries to find the information, to only use that information, or others to temporarily hide the vet information. So labeling information in a number of ways creates a flexibility. And so far, we have been labeling the team, the creation team, have been labeling that information. Our vision is that in the future anyone can label any information in any way and that people imagine to find and use information in different ways and that you can just apply those labels and share them with your friends who look at the information or learn to look at the information in your way. A um, few other examples would be that the label could be the type of face or could be expressing some kind of likelihood ratio. The third element is that we wanted to let go the structure of the repertory. So far, Kent's repertory was the almost unmovable backbone of synthesis and other bigger repertories. Letting go means that FATAC, which is added, which has been added into synthesis, becomes visible exclusively and that within synthesis you could see FATAX repertory with only that information, just like any other source, just an example. Or that the sorting of symptoms could be done in a different way, like alphabetically. Or that someone could decide to divide the mind in sub-chapters and look at the repertory in this way. So these examples tell you that with this increased flexibility, different people can still use the same database because this is the main thing whether you will be looking at Kent only, at FATAC only at a certain sorting of symptoms, structure of symptoms it will be different structures but in the same database and we maintain collaboration between all homeopaths. A fourth idea is to link information. Any type of information can be linked in any other way. And just to give you an example of the flow, the workflow that is possible when this, is, this tool is there, is that once you repertorize a case and you're looking at the symptoms and you say, but do I have any other patients with this symptom? You go to your patient file part and you retrieve all the patients where you ever have used that repertory symptom in an analysis. Then you, of course, you will see the remedies that you have prescribed and you find one patient with a remedy that's unknown to you. Go switch to the Materia Medica, which is linked to your patient file and find that Materia Medica. And then you say, who is this Australian author of my remedy? And you can read about the author, contact the author, go to his website, etc. So with linking the information in all these different directions, in all these different levels, we follow the thinking of a homeopath and your program will just be as flexible as your mind. Another linking we would like to do is linking between homeopaths by using cloud technology. Cloud technology means that a server or a network of servers is in cyberspace and collects information. So you can send your work to the cloud like your synthesis editions, and then people, if they get your agreement, can decide to retrieve that information in an automatic way, in a stepwise way, or in a controlled way. And we can synchronize different people's work through the cloud. People working in different practices, in different hospitals, in different countries, could collaborate easily through the cloud also for research projects, this will be a fantastic technology 
that we can use the cloud technology for these purposes. Another dream we had is the dream to break the language barriers. Before we had separate synthesis in different languages. Now we have only one internet-based synthesis that integrates all languages, which means that we can display different languages at the same time or that you can switch from one language to another. These languages are now just like another record in the same database, but the Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, English people all work together in the same synthesis. Additions made by one of them will become available immediately by for the people with the other language. Another way to break the language barriers was to integrate dictionaries in 57 languages, which allows a number of issues like Slovakian provings are available and they can be read and translated in the 56 other languages, making much information that was hidden and unavailable so far so much easier to be communicated and shared. At last, our dream was to be on all platforms. And that doesn't only mean to be on Mac and PC in native code without the need of emulation, etc. It also means when the time comes and the request is there, supported by enough people, we can offer Radar Opus in a Linux version. It also means that we can use uh, that users can um, use smartphones and tablets to have uh, Radar Opus work. And we have already a first Radar Opus app launched, which allows people to work anywhere just with a smartphone on a tab tablet in their hands. In addition, when the work is done on the tablet, they can send it, the analysis, from the app to the computer at home to save it, to edit it, to put it in a patient file, to work on it and retrieve it any next consultation. Then internet integration, of course, in these last 20 years has become very big. We are dreaming of an internet-based version. And as I explained in the previous point, we already have a radar Opus Cloud. Also, a LAN version will come, which is a local area network version, which will allow people to collaborate easily in a uh, hospital with several computers. Now, these were the dreams. And let us see today, spring 2017, when we are releasing Radar Opus 2.0, as the number says, a major release, where are we in the dream? And please look at me and be happy to know that this project has already succeeded creating an all-in-one program offering access with one single interface, common user interface, to repertory materia medica and patient file. You can find, retrieve, save, analyze information pretty much in the same way and logic. Dictionaries, databases, websites have been integrated in the program and can be searched and managed from within the program. The labeling project has started first with miasmatic labels where people can customize and add their own miasmatic labels within the framework set by the teachers. In Radar and Encyclopedia Homeopathica, we had a link so that people in the repertory could see the original source text of Materia Medica in the repertory. Now the link has become bidirectional, so I can go from the repertory to my original Materia Medica symptom and from my original Materia Medica symptom I can see to which repertory symptoms that text has been linked. The Radar Opus Cloud is released with version 2 in the first step, mostly to offer the possibility of Clifico, which is patient data online in the cloud, allowing people to collaborate in research or practices in different places. Another set of items that arrive with Radar Opus 2 is that Synthesis is integrating all languages into one book, one single database. The, dic the dictionaries have been integrated and I write any directional, which means that from Dutch you can go to Italian, 
but also to Greek, Hebrew, Japanese, Hindi, etc. In the same way you can go from Swedish to another variety of languages, so it's any directional. With version 2 we are offering a set of new and refurbished modules. One of the new modules is the Heiner Frey Polarity Analysis, which is analyzing the symptoms of Bernhausen's therapeutic pocketbook in a mathematic and very smart way. We have redone the miasmatic analysis of Fortega and Gian Pietro, and we have redone in a very smart way the editing tools where now you can add remedies to existing symptoms in a very nice way. A new feature is that Radioropus 2 has become HIPAA compliant, which means that it is password protected as an option for the moment to allow you to get used to the new idea and thereby is protecting patient data for you as the legal requirement to do so is increasingly becoming important. All of these ideas, all of these features on these two last slides are possible on Mac and PC. The first Radar Opus app to say the Synthesis app has become available on the Apple platform and the Android platform and they are integrated which means from the field you can send your information from the app to your computer version and maintain it over there. So I think with this version 2, even if it is only part of the dream we had in 2006-2008 when we started the programming, we've come already a long way. I thank you for listening and most of all for your support to buy our program in the legal way and to support our vision for the future where we will, without any delay and without uh, any compromise, continue to work to implement the vision that I just explained to you in our suite of homeopathic software Radiopus. You are very welcome to contact me, maybe even better, on the general email because as some of you may know, I am swarmed up with emails or why don't you just look from time to time at our website radiolopus.com which is telling you all the latest news to our software. Thank you very much and see you again sometime soon. Bye-bye.